Tonight in Project Community, an upstate organization loading up and hitting the road to spread holiday cheer this season. Our Sydney Shadricks joins us now with United Way of Greenville County's initiative to bring Christmas to kids in the upstate. Sydney? It's called Project Joy, and the name speaks for itself. I joined United Way this morning as it made some very special deliveries to schools. It's a special delivery for some Greenville County students. Every child deserves to open a Christmas present on Christmas morning. As United Way of Greenville County unpacks joy, bags of gifts ready for 600 middle and high schoolers. A lot of middle schoolers don't get thought about for Christmas. They think about the little kids, but middle and high school deserve Christmas too. It's part of United Way's Project Joy, an initiative that matches sponsors with families who may need a little bit of extra help during the holidays. Through Project Joy, we're able to support the entire family. So no matter how many children are in that family, all of the children are supported. This year, that's about 600 students and 175 families. Project Joy is going to change the life of so many of our children this year. It's not a simple task. It is a lot of planning and a lot of logistics, but the work is worth it come delivery day. I hope they open their presents and they are so, so excited. They're so happy. When happy tears are shed. <laughs> I'm going to get emotional here. And Christmas dreams can come true. For them to have the opportunity for our community to come together and support them, let them know that they are loved and cared for, is just a wonderful feeling. Know that your gifts go beyond you packaging them up and delivering them. You know, it's going to make a lasting experience for many of our children here. So thank you. According to United Way, Project Joy was created specifically for middle and high school students who sometimes get overlooked during the holiday season. This is its third year organizing Project Joy, and the organization says that this year it was able to sponsor children from nine different schools. Satellite and radar shows we've got rain pushing through the area right now. This is kind of a precursor of what's to come again tomorrow, again on Sunday, and then next Wednesday. That's kind of the latest on the heavier rain that'll be moving our way. However, the weekend's not a washout, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Look a little bit closer here. We've got some spotty, heavy at times showers in the upstate, especially across Abbeville and Greenwood County at the moment. And then Lawrence County seeing some showers. Briefly heavy rain across eastern parts of Cherokee County. And then spotty showers here from Greenville to Spark. And that'll be the case is we'll have more of these heavier showers here and there going into the overnight hours. Western North Carolina, some heavier downpours across northeastern Henderson County near Fruitland and Edneyville. And then we got heavier rain on the other side of the mountain into Tennessee. The fog still so thick across the mountains, but the atmosphere is more mixed up tonight. So I don't think we'll have as much fog. That'll help us out tonight with driving, but it has been a very foggy day in most locations where we have seen temperatures in the 50s, like Asheville, 57 degrees. But warmer in the upstate, we're in the low to mid 60s after topping out near 70 today. Tomorrow morning will fall down to the mid 50s. You'll want a jacket early and it's generally going to be a much colder day tomorrow. There will be rain heavy at times. While we may not wake up to rain, there will be rain shortly thereafter. Mid morning through the early afternoon hours. That's when I think the rain is going to be the heaviest and temperatures basically park it at about 55 degrees and, and pretty much hold there all day in the mountains. Same story. We'll have some spotty showers, but I think the mountains have a little bit lower of a chance of rain tomorrow when compared to the upstate. Let me show you high temperatures because today we topped out in the upper 60s. Tomorrow will feel much colder in the 50s, especially with that rain coming on in. Latest computer.